Good morning, friends. It is day, I think it's 46 on the Appalachian Trail. And uh, yesterday I did 29.7 miles, I think, um, which was really good. And I kept a really good pace all day, so I'm really happy about that. Um, the trail, uh, and I had the option of doing uh, roughly 25 miles or, uh, you know, five miles ahead. There was a, a resort with a good restaurant. Um, yeah, I opted for that. And uh, again, I had a good pace. I don't have any complaints. Um, other than this morning when I got out of bed, the balls of my feet were a little achy. But that was it. So um, I'm, I'm passing through the resort. And the trail itself actually goes down this road, which is right next to the resort, which is back there. And my, my room was actually down this road, but I had to go to the front office and complain a little bit. Um, it, the room was a little bit pricey and I told the lady I was a through hiker and I needed a bed and a shower. And like, she gave me a suite. Um, and I didn't realize it was a suite until this morning. Like I got up and I'm like, what's that door go to? And it was a big living room and a kitchen and a fireplace and a dining room. And I'm like, holy cow. Uh, no wonder it was so expensive, but I went to the front and I got it at, we're in the woods and, and all that business. But, um, yet there was mouse poop on my bed behind the pillows on both the beds, two beds. I only needed one. Um, but there was mouse poop there. So I was like, uh, I went to the front desk and I was this morning and I'm like, Hey, um, is there any, any reason why you guys booked me in a suite? I, I'm a through hiker, man. I just needed, I just needed a place to stay. And, oh, and by the way, there was mouse poop. So tell the cleaning staff. And they apologized profusely. Oh, we're so sorry, we're so sorry. Um, whatever. Uh, so, but they knocked off a couple of bucks off the price. So that was, that was good. Um, that was helpful. All right. And it looks like the Appalachian Trail... There's one of those Jimmy things that, oh, there. And there's this sign here, but that is to go south. And that's not what we're doing. We're going north. So as soon as I see a white blaze on a tree, I'll feel comfortable. And I usually get really paranoid about not seeing a white blaze real quick. And I wish that some of these trail places, you know, the, some of the people who maintain the trail would would put a white blaze on a tree like 10 feet after you um, enter the trail after a crossing. I think I see a white blaze up there, but it also might be blue. If it's blue, I'm going to be a little upset. <clears throat> Let's see. No, I think it's white. No, it's blue. Shoot. All right. So now I have to find out exactly where am I. I think I'm on the Appalachian Trail. Again, not sure. Um, but I'm going to go figure that out. Um, the food was really good. I had, for dinner, I had a, a salad. Because I do miss vegetables and I do miss fruit. Those are the two things I really miss quite a bit, actually. Um, and then... I wanted to get the pulled pork sandwich with the coleslaw, but they were out. So I ended up getting um, a burger. And it was a good burger. It was a functional burger. There was nothing great about it. Uh, and everyone in Virginia is like, put a mask on, put a mask on. Oh, my God. And I'm like, I'm trying to eat here. Um, but it was all right. And I had a slice of cheesecake to finish it up. Oh, yeah. It was New York style and everything. I didn't. I don't like those goofy cheesecakes. I just like a, a plain cheesecake. And that's all. So... Um, yeah, uh, that was it. I went through my gear last night. I lightened my load probably about like two pounds. And it's really strange when you say that, you're like, Hey, I, I lightened my load like two pounds and everybody, you know, you guys are like, okay, whatever that means. Um, but you can really feel it. You can really feel it. It's amazing. Um, uh, tighten that strap. Uh, when you do lighten your load, uh, whether it's psychological or not. I can feel it, and uh, but I got a good hot shower. Uh, I'm 100% clean. My red shirt with my uh, other pants are in the bag, and other socks are in the bag. Um, 
and you'll be seeing this for the next couple of days. Uh, and I think that'll, that'll be it. Uh, when I get to Harper's Ferry, I will do a ton of wash, which really just means two sets of clothes. Um, but I'm looking forward to not smelling myself and being funky for the next, I don't know, hour. Because then I'll just be funky again. But anyway, um, oh, I see one of these things. So that's good. That's a good sign. Let's see. And it says nothing referring to the Appalachian Trail. One of these. Huh. Okay. All right, I'm going to go because i got to find myself. I am not where I'm supposed to be. And I hate walking farther than I need to. All right, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm found. Um, it is about 20 minutes later, and which is about a mile. Uh, but I finally found I'm going to be sharing the trail for a little bit with that other trail. I want to say it's uh, Stony Man Trailhead. And it's paved for a little bit. But, uh, in addition to being a really pricey resort, um, it was nice, but it was pricey. Uh, the lady, like, stuck me in Timbuktu. Uh, so she, I was like, look, man, I, ju I just finished walking like 30 miles. I don't really want to walk. And, which is really funny because when you go somewhere and you tell people you're through hiking and you're coming from Georgia, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, where you want to be? It's just a a mile down that way and you're like Ugh. and they look at you like you've walked this far what's another mile but after you've walked 30 miles in a day you're done you don't want to walk anymore even 25 you're like i just i don't want to do it i don't want to walk anymore right if i could hoverboard i would Ooh. but um so yeah she sticks me like in, and I, I i told her i'm like hey i just finished walking like 30 miles and you know, I'm a little tuckered out. I don't really want to walk anywhere. It's too so much that I put my bag down and went into the restaurant and ate and then got my key to the room. So she said, well, let me, let me help you out. When you're done with dinner, just come and see me and I'll, I'll have one of the maintenance guys take you there. I said, okay, great. So then I asked the maintenance guy, who was super nice, um, hey, where's the Appalachian Trail? How do I, how do I get back to it? Because there is construction in this area and so there's a detour as to where this and that or whatever should be and so where you get off the trail when you get when and where you get on the trail actually two different places and there's like this weird gap uh i'm not sure that's the right word but um so the guy's like oh let me just drive you to it let me show you so I was like, oh, okay, there it is. And so when I got up this morning, I dropped my key off. I discussed my bill with the, uh, the guy working there and they took some of it off. And then uh, I walked right to where the guy said, that's where the trailhead is, right, right where I was before. It wasn't the trailhead. And here's my contention. And it's not much, but still, if you live in the area, just kind of know what what your surroundings are. You know, like if you live in Paris and someone says, hey, where's the Eiffel Tower? You should be able to go it's that way. You know, hey, where's the Appalachian Trail? Well, you know, it's under construction or the roads are under construction. So it's sharing another trail with this other one. And it's right over here. Oh, thanks. Thank you, friend that didn't happen okay so i realized that i clearly woke up in a bad mood right i got on the floor and maybe it was as i was on the floor because my the balls of my feet don't hurt anymore but i got on the floor and the balls of my feet were a little achy uh they didn't offer breakfast here because uh, COVID, that's everyone's excuse. No, we don't. We don't offer uh, any any good service anymore. Uh, COVID, due to COVID, which okay, I got it. But come on, man. You know, 
you should always, your, your first emotion should be kindness, I think. Which mine is not this morning. But, uh, so again, I just kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed. And I need probably to stop and just take stock of my surroundings. And then basically pull my head out of my ass. I'm not in an office. I'm not in a building. I had a great night's sleep. I had a good meal last night. I had a hot shower. I don't really need anything else. So I think at my first hour mark, and by the way, that's how I hiked the Appalachian Trail, by the hour, right? I do a map check every hour and see how far I've gone. And then I look and see what's up next for the next hour and say, can I make it there? And that, that's how I, how I, uh, how I hiked that Appalachian Trail, which I didn't do that this morning either. I was just like, oh, just right over there. And I was wrong. So I think at my first hour check, I'm going to stop and just take stock of what's around me real quick and then get moving. If I see anything really be beautiful, I'll make sure to send it along. All right now, love you guys. And just like that, my bad mood is gone. So I turned the corner and it just opened up to this beautiful, majestic, holy cow. Why, why do you, why are you in a bad mood? Oh my God, snap out of it, son, and boom, just like that. Just, I, I can't believe this, look at that. I just can't believe where I am. It's just crazy. I almost dropped the F-bomb, crazy. All right, I think that's where I'm, I'm headed to. I think, uh, I'm probably wrong. I know Harper's Ferry is out there somewhere. Um, yeah, I'll get All there. Right, that's where I'm coming from. And it opens up to this beautiful view. And this is where I'm going. This nice little open area. I've been walking in the green tunnel all morning, for the most part. So it's nice to just kind of get out and see that. That's just sick. All right. I'm back at it. This is beautiful fern garden right along the trail. Okay, so about three... Oh, look at that view. You see it? Oh, there's a road right down there and an overlook. I bet... I bet I can... Oh, look, there's a little tiny path. Let's just take this little tiny path. Let's take a quick peek because it's worth it. Oh, look at that view. That is crazy. Okay, so just up that way just up that way, is a, uh, a shelter, right? And it's the 25 mile shelter and I'm good with it. Let me find some sun so I'm better, better view. Oh, that's even better, right? So, uh, but it's a 25 mile shelter and I'm good with it. Um, but, but I have passed eight people trying to get to that shelter, right? You know, I'll stop and I'll be like, oh, I'll talk to somebody. Where are you going? Oh, we're just going to that shelter. Ooh, I'm like, There's, that's a group of four. And oh, oh, where are you guys going? Oh, we're going to that shelter. Ooh, that's a group of two. And then, ooh, no, another group of two. It's only, I think it's only a six person shelter. So I've passed eight people uh, to get there. And I'm going to get there first. I'm not setting up my tent. It's not happening. Uh, I hope. I don't know how many people are already there, but one can never tell. So. Uh, it's been a great, great day. And um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's been a great day. Um, I'm all fueled up. I feel great. And I like the new um, eat twice a day during the hike. So I'm going to practice that from now on, I think. All right. Love you. Bye. Big baby. Just like that. Walk right by me.